Hello, so it is vlog day. So I'm pleased to say that I'm feeling so much better this week compared to last week when it comes to just showing up here and recording this vlog and doing things online and all that kind of stuff. And I also want to say thank you to those of you who just reached out and messaged me last week following my vlog last week because I shared last week how I was feeling just a little bit nervous about doing the vlog, about certain things, about sometimes how my confidence can dip. And some of you reached out and messaged me and were just like, remind you who you are, Louise, come on. I was like, I know, I know these things. And I just wanted to say thank you for that because it was really lovely. Um, and the reason that I share, I will share like as much as I can on, on my vlogs and as I do on social media as well, is because I want people to know that it's normal to feel nervous and to feel uncomfortable and to doubt yourself and all that kind of stuff because I think so many people will jump onto someone's content or a vlog or something like this or they may even land on my social media and look at the the work that I do and the content that I make and the business that I run and the pictures that I post and all that kind of stuff and have this assumption that I am a confident person which I am However, they may assume that I don't ever lack confidence or that I somehow don't get nervous about things. And I do because I'm human. And from being someone who used to be very shy, very quiet, not confident at all to who I am today and the work that I do now and the things that I do and all that kind of stuff, it just, the gap is so huge now. And I love to go out there and create the way that I do because I like to show other women what's possible, especially those that maybe lack confidence or want to do more or create more or be more or do more or try something different or be more creative or grow their own brand online or business, um, whatever it is that you want to do. I just know that by me being as honest as I can be, that that is going to help someone because what I have found myself and I know what from speaking to other people, what they find is they can look at other people and just assume that they are somehow different in terms of they are confident they can do the things and yet someone like me who doesn't feel confident can't do the things that those people are doing. And in my, I have a program actually called Confident Sex Empowered and it was one of my first programs that I ever launched years ago now that I've taken so many women through that program and one of the questions that I ask my clients inside of that program is what do you define as confidence? If you think about confidence or you think about a confident person or a confident woman, what is it that you think that is? And when my clients actually sit down and write down because they feel that it's everything that they are not and they write down that they believe confidence is a certain thing we then actually go in and do the work to change actually what we ultimately believe confidence to be. Because I also work with women that will say to me, you know, people assume that I'm this very confident, loud person when actually I'm just trying to cover up a whole load of insecurities by being over the top or loud or funny or inside I'm not that person. And then they can get really tired or exhausted or feel like a fraud sometimes being this way when actually they don't fully feel like, like that all the time. It's as if they're putting on a front for other people. So for me, my sort of definition of confidence would be our ability to do the things that we ultimately want to do in life, personally and professionally. It's, it's personal and it's specific to you in terms of what it is that you want to, how you want to live, the values that you have, the hobbies that you maybe want to do, the places you want to visit, maybe you want to travel, like I said, starting a business online, growing a brand, whatever it might be in that like in that area, or maybe it's professionally, you're thinking, well, I need to be this and that and this and that, or it's you being able to understand and realize that by you being able to take the steps, even though you feel nervous and scared, that builds confidence. And every time you're willing to do that, and like I shared in last week's vlog, every time you're willing to take a step forward when you feel nervous or uncomfortable or a bit scared, and I don't believe in taking huge, massive steps where, I mean, from time to time, yes. But for me, it doesn't feel nice in my body to constantly be making huge, massive steps out of my comfort zone. It doesn't feel good to me. 
I say to my clients, make it be a blend of like uncomfortable here or maybe lean into the fear here or doing something here that's not too much where it's going to completely rattle you. But also sometimes there will be times where it's like a huge leap of faith. And for me, that is that is developing confidence. Confidence is a skill. It's not something that we're born with. It's, it's a skill. Anyway, that's my little TED talk for the beginning of this vlog. Um, so it's currently snowing. So I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you the snow. Simba's just sat in his little bed watching the snow. Um, it started snowing yesterday. It's March. I mean, I don't know what's happening. What date in March is it today? Is it the 10th? Let me try and think. I've got the diary in front of me. It's the 9th. <laughs> it's the 9th today. So 9th of March and it's snowing. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you before I forget. So let me show you the snow. Hang on. Simba baby. Okay. Have you had enough of resting? Yeah? We're just looking at the snow. So yeah, this is the current situation. Let me, uh, let me stand up. Oh. So it's, uh, it's pretty full the sky at the moment. We'll have to go and take a look off the balcony in a bit. So yeah. I can't say I'm a fan of snow. It looks pretty. I think I was a fan of snow until I had kids. And then if you've got lots of children, you'll know that snow can be somewhat of a stressful experience. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's all fun and games in the snow and it all looks beautiful until you take your kids out in it and it takes you about an hour to get everyone's layers on and hats and scarves and wellies and everything to be outside for about five minutes. And then everyone be crying, fingers cold, nose red, cheeks red, everything hurts. Then they're instantly hungry, need a drink, so you have to come in or someone into the toilet. It's like I've got PTSD from these times. Um, <laughs> and then when you get them in the bath to warm them up, it burns them because they were that cold. Or they start throwing snow at each other, someone gets it in the face. And then before you know it, everyone's crying, including yourself. So snow is fine for me when there's no children and I don't have to go anywhere. That's when I'm okay with snow. So anyway, talking of the kids, they have gone on holiday this morning. So last week, their dad said that he wanted to take them away on holiday for a week, um, him and his partner so and their kids. So the kids have gone on holiday this morning to Tenerife for a whole week. So I've got a week to myself. So it's just me and the cat. It's just me and Simba for a week. And I tell you what, I'm going to tell you what time it is right now. It's about 20 past 12 midday and I'm still in my pyjamas. I've got my dressing gown on, blanket. I've just been doing some, um, just a bit of work this morning. So I've done some social media posts, um, created some content. I'm obviously doing my vlog today. Um, I'm also looking at editing my website as well because when I first started my business, I, and that's probably, when did I make my website? It must be three or four years ago now. I made a website initially when I first started my business and then I edited it, I don't know, maybe a year into my business. I edited it and changed it a little bit and I haven't really used it since the first year of my business, so a few years now. And I thought to myself, this year I want to build out my website more so I've got a platform to house all my programs because at the minute I have a range of different programs um, from life coaching programs to building an online business programs um, and I also have like my mastermind my group coaching experience and my one-to-one -one coaching at the minute all my sort of advertising is done through Facebook and through social media um, and I I'm feeling this vibe now where I want to have my website where everything's just there now because I want people to be able to just land on it and buy stuff if they want to. Um, so I want it also to be available for everybody as well. So that there's a price point for anybody who lands on my website, whatever, wherever they are in their journey. Because I've been through the experience myself of, you know, starting my personal development journey and starting to learn about law of attraction, personal development, confidence goals, all that kind of stuff. And not being able to access certain things can be frustrating <clears throat> due to financial reasons. When you haven't got the money to invest, yet you want to learn, 
it can be frustrating. I found that where it's just like, well, it's not fair because I haven't got the money to invest in this right now. And something that I used to say to myself is if I wanted something that I couldn't or I didn't have the money to be able to buy straight away, I would always put it on my goal list or my vision board. And I would say, I will do that one day. So there's been courses by different coaches and programs and all different things over the years that sometimes I've been able to just go, yes, I'm in and I've, I've joined, whether it's a live program or a recorded one that they've been selling. And I've just been able to, to do it straight away. Or if not, I've thought to myself, right, that's something that I really want to do and I am going to do it, just not yet. And I want to be able to offer that to women on my website. So I want sort of things ranging right from right down to £11 just to be able to buy just something of value on there right up to sort of my one-to-one -one coaching it just depends where women are at um but that's something that I am feeling really pulled towards and last night I went on my website I've not been on it for ages I mean ages and there's only just a couple of things on there I think there's some information about Ask Align Attract and Confident Sexy Empowered and literally that's it because I just I've not used it hardly at all for a few years and there was still traffic going to my website. So I went to the stats and I looked at sort of the, the traffic and the, the visits and the different pages people were looking at. And I was like, people are going to my website. People are going to it. I'm not directing people to it either. This is the brilliant thing. <clears throat> I'm not directing people. I never say visit my website ever. Never, ever. I don't link it on my stories. Um, you can get to it through my bio on Instagram, um, but it's not something that I promote and I haven't promoted it for years now. And yet there is traffic on my website. People were subscribing to my website recently. I'm just like, right, OK, I want to sort this out. So um, I'm looking to just start adding some different pages to that and information and also get some programs uploaded onto that um, and different offers and things at different price points for people, because that would be a vibe. It feels like a vibe for me to do that this year. So that is something that I've looked and started to look at doing in the last sort of 24 hours. Um, anything else that I wanted to share with you? Today, um, I dyed my roots of my hair last night, which is a bit of a risk because I've obviously got the blonde through. So normally it's kind of like, kind of like a balayage, but with um, obviously the sort of highlights going through the blonde, but I've got a photo shoot on Sunday and I just haven't had time to get my roots done. I haven't booked in and I just wanted, I didn't, I wasn't really bothered about the blonde being done, but I just wanted my roots doing. So last night, hence why my hair's like this, I just put a box down the top. So my hairdresser's probably going to fall out with me, but I just wanted it doing and I'm impatient and I didn't want to wait. And I also couldn't cope with having bad, like just grey patches here for the photo shoot it wasn't a vibe they could have edited them out but it just feels better so that's uh that's what's happening with my hair I'm gonna have a shower and get dressed in a minute um so I've got a photo shoot on Sunday so what I thought we'd do today is I am going to clear up a little bit today um and then I'm gonna get my outfits ready for the weekend right now this photo shoot is and I'm going to hopefully vlog it on Sundays when, when when I go for the shoot. This photo shoot is in London and it's an outdoor photo shoot. I've just messaged the photographer and said I'm currently sat here watching the snow praying for a heat wave on Sunday because it's an outdoor shoot. If you've seen my social media pictures you'll probably know the vibe of the photo shoot. I'm not going to be wearing a fleece onesie. So I was like, I mean, it does, it has forecast slightly warmer temperatures, thank the Lord. Um, and it is hopefully going to be dry, but it's still not speedo weather for Sunday and it's outside. Um, but I'm here for the things. I'm really looking forward to it. It's something that I booked back in December um, and it's a photographer that I fo followed for a little while and I've always wanted to do a shoot with him. So when he had an offer on at Christmas, I was just like, and it was in London in the location that I wanted. I was just like, ah, yes, 100% I'm in. So I obviously booked it then and didn't think that it would be this cold in March. And then I thought to myself, why didn't I make it? Why didn't I book in for a time when it's a bit warmer? But I didn't think about that at the time when I booked it in December. I was just excited because the location had come up and he'd got spaces. So 
we're going to pack the or figure out what I'm going to be taking with me um, today. I thought I'd do that with you. Um, and after sort of last week's video of the feeling nervous, it's really interesting to me that when it comes to like things like photo shoots and things like for Sunday and the outfits that I'm going to be wearing and what I've got planned, that doesn't make me feel nervous at all. It's like I'm in my happy place when I'm doing photo shoots or um, just the different outfits and the things. It actually gets me excited and I don't feel scared or nervous. On the day, I'll probably have a few nerves, but leading up to it, I'm just like, I can't wait. Although I just hope it is a little bit warmer. As long as there's not a chilly wind, if there's no wind and it's cold, that's fine. It's when there's a, when there's a cold wind. So anyway, I'm going to go and get myself, I think, showered. Put a bit of makeup on because I am going to try some of my outfits on. Whether I do my hair or not, I might just leave it. Um, and then we can see what I'm going to take to London. Um, so yeah, let's go and get showered and sorted and do the things. So I am showered, a little bit of makeup on. I've just got comfy clothes on today, like loungewear. I feel like a telly tubby in this, but it's just so comfortable. And I love being comfortable. So this is on. I was going to vlog a little bit of me trying some of my outfits on because I have tried my outfits on that I'm going to be taking with me to my photo shoot on Sunday. And then I thought I'm going to save them for Sunday. I'm going to show you what they are, but I'm not going to show you them on. Plus, YouTube might not like it <laughs> and you'll know why in a minute when I show you some of them. They're not that bad. I, well, not bad. None of them are bad. It depends what your sort of take on it is. But for me, I... I love wearing different styles of clothing and types of things. And I particularly love, obviously, for those of you that know me, some of you d won't if you're new on my channel, that I teach pole fitness um, privates at home. And I've done pole fitness and pole dancing now for about 10 years. Um, so for me, one of my sort of, one of my loves is like pole shoes are just like the best things ever. They're the best heels ever. And as part of sort of my brand, I incorporate my pole shoes into my coaching brand um, because my very first program, as mentioned earlier, was Confident, Sexy, Empowered. That was my first program. And my own journey with my own personal development and my journey with pole fitness were very much at, at the same sort of time. And both of those elements to my life really changed my life, like changed my confidence, my body confidence, my beliefs about myself, so much changed. And so the shoes for me are very special. I remember when I first started pole, I was very, very nervous, very, very scared of going to the studio. And I think I talked about this in a live actually on my Facebook page or a post, I can't remember which one it was. I was speaking to a one-to-one -one client last week and she was talking about wanting to be more body confident. And I've so discussed my programme, Confident, Sexy, Empowered. And when I talked to her and I shared with her that I used to have very little body confidence after having my kids, after having the kids, I didn't like to expose pretty much any of my body. When I was younger, I would enjoy wearing sort of little tops and I didn't have to worry about wearing a bra back then and little skirts and high heels and all the things. And then I had my first child when I was 21 and everything changed from then. The clothes that I wore changed and the more children I had, the more self-conscious I became about my body because it changed so much. It felt like it changed overnight. And after going through obviously pregnancy and then it was sort of after I'd had my first baby, so much changed about my body that I wasn't prepared for. I kind of felt a little bit at the time, like no one, it was as if no one told me that this was going to happen. I know that might sound a bit crazy, but when you're having a baby, the focus is obviously on having a baby and how to look after baby and how to feed baby and change baby and all the things baby, of course, because we're, we're keeping a human alive here, you know, a baby. And it's, it's probably one of the hardest things I think I've ever done. But no one really talks about, I think there is more so now, but obviously Ella's nearly, well, she's 17. 17 years ago, there wasn't really the focus and it wasn't really spoken about, about a woman's body and, you know, looking after yourself as a woman after having a baby. And for me, my sort of beliefs back then were that once I became a mum, it changed who I was as a woman, which it does when you become a mum, you know, life completely changes. But also we are still a woman before we are a mother. 
you know, before we are a partner or a wife, we are still a woman. And I think sometimes that part of us can get lost. And I know for me, it very much got lost in me believing that as a mum, I couldn't wear certain things, I couldn't dress a certain way, I certainly couldn't be sexy anymore because I was a mum. <laughs> and it used to make me feel very uncomfortable, very nervous, I used to feel shame around it. And like I said, I didn't have a lot of body confidence. I used to keep myself covered up a lot. I would never expose my stomach because I was very self-conscious about my stomach, about the tops of my legs because I pretty much got stretch marks everywhere. So first pregnancy, I think they were all here. Second pregnancy, I got a few more on my tummy because I got a few. I like got a few for each child and I had them down my thighs. And then third pregnancy, I think they were sort of on my knees, on the back of my calves. Um, I've got them all over. Literally, my body's covered in them. Um, and I used to joke and said, if I had another baby, I'd literally get them on my face because I haven't got anywhere else where I could get them. <laughs> so when I talk to women about having body confidence and about really feeling empowered and strong and sexy and just feeling comfortable and confident in your own skin, when people see my some of the pictures that I put out there, I love to feel strong and sexy in my body. It's something that I love to feel. And pole and pole fitness has been something that has really helped me to feel that way. And obviously part of pole can be, you know, stripper style pole is very much high heels, hardly any clothes. And I can tell you what, it is just such a fun thing to do. It really is a fun, a fun thing to do. And for my photo shoots and things, when I do have photo shoots, I incorporate a lot of my photo shoots into my, obviously my brand and my work. And so I will always bring my huge heels with me. I've got them here. And some people are a bit like, they're a bit ridiculous. But for me, they're part of my journey and my story. And I just think they're absolute, they're just so much fun. And so it's why I love to wear them when I have a photo shoot, because they're different, they stand out, and they mean something as well. And I can remember the first time that I bought my very first pair. They're in the bin now because they were that they were that wrecked. They ended up going in the bin. But I wanted them for such a long time. I wanted these shoes for such a long time. And my journey in pole fitness was a gradual journey of developing my confidence and my strength. Because when I started, I couldn't do anything. People, excuse me, look at my pole videos now. And they look at my pole pictures and what I can do. And they're just like, I wish I could do that. And I couldn't do anything when I started. I could literally lift myself off the ground for about three seconds. That's it. No joke. I couldn't go upside down. I I did, like I said, I didn't like exposing certain parts of my body. So I was very self-conscious in class as well. Very quiet. But I absolutely loved it. And I used to have fun while I was there. And that was the thing that kept me going back to classes was having fun and meeting new women and feeling safe in that environment and just getting fit and strong and stronger just by going and doing different things every single week. So it's why I've stuck at that hobby for such a long time. It's why I love to teach privates. Um, I did teach at the studios for about three years and I absolutely loved it. Um, I couldn't believe it when I actually first became an instructor at the studio because I thought, what, I recall and remember my very first day walking into the studios and how I felt and how nervous I was and how scared I was. And never in a million years would I have thought that I'd one day become an instructor at that, at that pole school never in a million years and it was one of the best experiences that I could have ever had just women coming into that class environment and feeling exactly the same way that I felt when I walked into that studio and being able to sort of be part of their journey of sort of growth and confidence and believing in themselves and getting stronger so very much love it which is why I've got such a passion for the boots and the shoes right so with that in mind with my photo shoot on Sunday, it is going to be a sexy themed photo shoot because they're my favourites. It's what makes me feel the most confident, the most empowered. I absolutely love it. And obviously I've got my outfits here, which I'm going to share with you. Now, bearing in mind, it's not the warmest March and it's currently snowing, although it's stopped now. It's freezing cold though. The temperature I think is going to be about 13 degrees on Sunday. So it's not still not obviously summer. Um... So I thought to myself, okay, what do I want to wear? And this is an outdoor shoot. So I think we're going to be near St Paul's Cathedral. And there's going to be sort of an outside shoot. I'm not sure 100% location wise where. So there may be people wandering around, which is fine. Um, 
and then there's a rooftop shoot somewhere as well balcony and rooftop which i can't wait to do so with the freezing weather in mind what i thought i would do this time around is like take um, a jacket with me as well as some of my my outfit so i haven't got that many because obviously with it being outside i can't be getting changed all that much um but i have got some of my favorite pieces that i wanted to wear while i was there so the first one being is going to be this one so and it's bright i'm going for bright it's a little bit creased but it's fine because it's like it's it's stretchy material so it is this let me move back a little bit is this so it's got tie sides at the side here and then it's got ties at the front as well and it's a gorgeous shade of orange i'm not sure what shade it'll be showing up on the camera uh, while i'm filming it does look quite good when it's on sometimes when i take photographs of this one it does look red so it, for me it's it is more orange though it could be red like a ready orange or it's an orangey red or the same thing whatever maybe it looks red on there but it is for me it looks a bright orange so this is one of the things i'm going to be wearing I'm going to show you all the clothes elements and then I think with the shoes I may be changing things up a bit with the shoes and the boots and you're either going to sit there going Louise you're absolutely mad or you're going to be like oh my god this is going to be the best shoot photo shoot ever I'm like you're either in camp one or two or both right this one's just a bodysuit that I've had for a while but I do like it this one so I'm just going to be wearing the bodysuit it's long sleeved obviously so I'm thinking about warm practicality um, this is just from new look um but I do really like this one and it looks nice on its own with the boots that I've got planned. So that one's a new look one. This one is from a brand called Creatures of XIX, which is a pole clothing brand. But their items and their clothing is like really good quality. So for me, I don't like to wear like really thin, cheap stuff on my body i like it to feel really nice so this one's like a really thick lycra and it really just hold everything um, nothing can fall out sides or front because they're tied up and it's quite fitted at the sides which is nice so that's a creatures of xix one then there's this one which is one of my absolute favorites you know when you absolutely fall in love with something that you see i'm very much someone that if i see something or i see an item of clothing or I see it pictured somewhere and I'm just like this that's when I'm just like I, I want it and I have to have it this was one of those items they're all very practical of course now this one is this which is a crushed velvet so I'm very much into texture as well just look at the I'm going to bring it close look at the texture on that and the shine I absolutely love it and it feels amazing so this one is by Cleo the Hurricane, which again is another pole brand. Um, because these are all sort of a lot of these are my pole outfits because these are what I feel the best in. Um, so these are what I'm going to be wearing. It's got a nice racer back to it as well, so it means that I don't actually have to wear a bra with this one. And with the material being fairly thick and it's very structured, it does hold everything in really nicely. It is high at the back, so it is like a thong at the back but I like my R, so we're, we're all good. Um, and then I've got a pair of high-waisted um, wet look shorts. These are by a brand called Off The Pole, so you'll have heard me talk about those um, in previous vlogs, just because I love their workout gear. Um, they still do sell bits and pieces, but not as much as they used to, so I'm hoping they're going to bring more of the uh, workout wear out again um, and get some new lines out because I want some new workout clothes however these wet look ones I'm going to be wearing for the shoot I'll probably cover that up but these ones they come probably up to sort of here I like high-waisted um, so these wet look ones look really nice and then I've got two different tops depending how I feel on the day or what looks better they're both excuse me creatures of xix can you see I've got a bit of a thing for them so this one is like a mesh top so it's got um, this one's called their goddess range and it's just got this bit here um, which just covers everything nicely at the front and the mesh paneling again because the quality of their clothing is just really good the band is really fitted around the bottom so it holds here really well and then the mesh as well just holds everything in place so that one 
has got a nice little back on it as well with the, the gold writing on. So that one's possibly going to be worn with the black top. And then I've called this one as well. Now this one, I ripped it because, but I still want to wear it. You know when you've got a little thread hanging? I pulled the thread, which I shouldn't have done. So this is the top here. So what I did, and this is another Creatures of XIX, I pulled the thread just here at the front. And you know when you pull the thread and then we shan't have done it, and it, it just ripped it, I don't know if you can see, basically there. So the, the sort of the threads come off the bottom. It was only a cheap little top that I bought from them. Um, the back has actually got this bit intentionally at the back. So it's got that logo at the back. Well, but at the back, you have actually got this band anyway. So when I tuck that in at the front, you can't actually see it. I need someone who can sew to just stitch me that back onto the bottom. Because again, I do like this top. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to be wearing that one again with the black wet look shorts. And then I am going to be taking, practicality, I am going to be taking uh, my leather jacket to wear over some of the things because it does look really nice. I think this one's from, it's Berkshire and I ordered it from ASOS, ASOS, how do we say it? I get it wrong all the time, the kids tell me off. I'm going to say ASOS, that's what I'm going for. But yeah, so that jacket, I'm going to be taking that with me and either wear some of it with it open and some of it with it closed. Um, and then possibly I'm thinking about taking this red dress, which you can kind of kind of see there. So it's a one shoulder dress. Whether I wear this for like the balcony shots, um, I'm going to see. And there's a potential that I might take this with me as well. Uh, the dress, that one's from ASOS. Um, and I, I can't remember when I got this. I think it was, was it last year or the year before? I might have got it a couple of years ago. But it's a really nice red dress, very simple. And then I may take this with me. Um, I'm not sure it's the vibe. And it's not obviously warm. I think I'm going to stick with the leather jacket. So they're the outfits, range of outfits. There's not too many. And then shoe-wise... I'm going to take, um, because I have got shoes, but because it's so cold, I may take one pair of shoes with me, but I'm feeling, as I tried the outfits on, I'm feeling more of the boots this time than I am the shoes. I have had a shoe in my shoes before and the black boots, but I haven't had a full shoe in some of these boots. So I think I'm going to take, these are my absolute favourites, my babies, my boots. Let me take these off. So we put these covers on them so that when you're doing sort of tricks and things at the studio or floor work, you don't scuff scuff the toes when they're on the floor. So that's why those protectors are on the end. So they'll come off, although they look quite go right on there. So you can get these are from um, Pleases. They're called. Um, they are a bit extreme, but you know go high or go home what do they say the higher the heel the closer to god so there we go um these ones are eight inch heels if you look at them because people always say to me how do you walk in those shoes and if you actually take the platform off and you take the the rest of the base off they're actually just a normal a normal boot and they're really comfortable they've got like padded bottoms especially the shoes have um and they are really comfortable to walk in. It's just obviously incorporating the platform and this, which makes them look like just awesome, epic. So I'm gonna take the black boots, although I've been feeling these ones a little bit more this time. So these ones are again a pleasers. I'm a size eight, by the way, that's why they're so big. So I've got big size eight feet and I'm also a wide fit as well. Um, so these are the PVC nude boots. So these are definitely, definitely coming with me and these are definitely going to be worn. So I've tried these on with the outfits and they looked really good, as did the black ones. So they're definitely coming. And then I'm taking the bad boys with me until I get excited about photo shoes. They don't make me nervous at all. I'm excited. I can't wait. I just I hope it's not too cold. I'm taking the boots. So the thigh boots are coming with me as well. Uh, these ones again are pleasers. Uh, the reason I get pleasers is because I know they're good quality. 
um, they're hard wearing and also they're comfortable and they fit my foot really well. Some sort of shoes are just too narrow and I need a shoe where I've got movement and they're just comfortable. I can't stand it where toes are squished in. I'm not someone who can just be like, oh, I'll be fine. I'm like, no, no, no. I want them to be comfortable. So again, these look a, a bit extreme. They've got the buckles on. My clients that I've worked with over the years, like sometimes see the shoes and they're just like, oh my God, they get so excited. And then they end up either buying themselves some, starting pole fitness or just getting themselves some crazy outfits and they absolutely love it. Um, and everyone goes a bit wild for the, for the boots because they're just a vibe. They're a vibe. I can tell you something, right? Putting a set of these on, just feel like Batwoman. That's how you feel in these boots, Batwoman. So I'm going to be doing my best Batwoman down in London, wherever we're shooting on Sunday. And also these practically, obviously, are going to keep me nice and warm. So this, with obviously the outfits and the leather jacket, it's just going to be a vibe. I, I, and honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, I booked it at Christmas. You know when you book something like months in advance? Most people book holidays. I book photo shoots. It seems like it's, I've been waiting for ages for it to happen. Um, and now it's happening on Sunday. So, yeah. So, I'm quite, oh, I feel quite organised. I know what I'm going to be taking with me. Obviously, I'm going to pack my case on Saturday. As mentioned, I'm going to hopefully vlog the experience on Sunday. That's when some of the nerves and excitement will really start to kick in for me on the day. Um, but all in all, I am really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited. So I've got my train booked for the morning. So down into, excuse me, shouldn't have eaten before I did this vlog. I've got my train booked in the morning down to King's Cross. And then I don't know whether to get an Uber or whether to get the tube. I think I'm probably just going to get the tube down to um, St Paul's Cathedral. So yeah, that is all my outfits. There's not too many, because like I said, I've got to get changed outside somewhere. Don't know where. Um, and then the indoor shoot, the, the studio one where we're on the balcony and the roof. I should have somewhere just a little bit more practical to get changed. So whether some of them are just used, like a couple of them are used for the outdoor one, and then I change them up for the indoor one, we shall see. But of course, once I get the photos back, I will be showing you them. I cannot wait. So yeah, that that is the outfit. So... I am now going to, because I'm not cleaned up, all I've done is had a shower. I've tried clothes on all afternoon and they're all now sorted. So I know what I'm doing. I've got to clear my bedroom up, tidy my room. I've got some food shopping to do. And then I've also got a live to do over on Facebook as well um, and some Instagram stories. So I'm going to jump off and go and do those little bits and pieces. And then I'll jump back on the vlog shortly. And, um, and yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Also, I'm just going to show you the state of my bedroom right now because, like, shit is next level in here. And I like to keep things real on my channel, so get ready. So I'll take you out of the stand. Here's what I've just shown you, which is here. And boots and things. And there's some hair and makeup. Um, more shoes. There's me. So I've moved my mirror, my, te my Teletubby outfit there. Um... And then there's just an array of crap around my bedroom. That's where the boots came out because there's that much wrapping. I keep them wrapped up and in the box um, when I'm not using them and I put them in my wardrobe. Um, my Paul bag, just, I mean, Aristocat vibes because I love Aristocats. But down here has just become a floor drobe. And then so in the, I took the sheets off the bed this morning, went to put them in the wash and I haven't done that yet. So... And that was some of the items I might have worn for my shoe. So uh, it stopped snowing though. Looks like it's been a blizzard in here though, doesn't it? So I'm this afternoon, this evening slash, I'm going to get this all tidied up and sorted. Um, and then also just nip and get some food as well because I've literally got no food in. And the kids drank all the milk before they left last night. So I've only had one cup of coffee all day today. I haven't left the house all day. I can't be asked to go to the little shop. But I am going to go to the little shop or the main shop just to get some milk because I really want a cup of tea or a coffee. I've had a hot chocolate. So, yeah, I'm going to get cracking on this and um, I'll speak to you soon. Hello. It's ridiculous. Aren't you? Isn't it that purring? It's probably the worst lighting ever. Yes. Oh, he does love his cuddles. 
don't you? Yes. Every time I think he knows what the camera is though because oh I keep getting fluff everywhere though. I've just done my Facebook live and he was in the house and he came running up meowing and then um I heard him because what he started doing, let me flip this camera around. Hang on, that's better. I want to have it a certain way up. The camera's over there and I prefer it to be there. Um, what he started doing now is if I'm upstairs and he goes to the back door and meows and I'm not there, he jumps onto the roof of the house because we're in a dorm, a bungalow, climbs, walks over the roof, comes down the other side and then comes and taps on Zach's window. But I, when I'm in my bedroom, I hear him walk over the roof. And then I go to the window and there he is. So he was wet through. So I've just dried him off. And then he wanted a cuddle. But whenever I get the camera, he's a bit like, no, I'm done now. He's a bit like the kids. In fact, he's exactly like the kids. You get the camera out and he's like, nope, unless he's asleep. So anyway, little snuggles with Simba has been nice. So I've finally been to shop and got some milk. It's like eight o'clock. <laughs> so I can have a cup of tea. That's the vibe. Um, so I posted on my... Instagram today about the photo shoot and one of my best friends who lives close to London it was just like oh my god you're down in London for a photo shoot on Sunday I was like yes so she is potentially going to be meeting me on Sunday for a little drinky poo either before or after the shoot or she's going to stay which is a vibe so that's very much exciting for me literally that's just dropped into me in my inbox in the last half an hour an hour <sighs> so I wanted to wrap this vlog up I also just thought I'd show you my bedroom. So, let's take you up here for the reveal. Here we go. So I'll just turn the camera around for you. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I haven't done any of it. <laughs> just because... I've been doing other things and so it's been left. No shame. It will get done either later tonight, who am I kidding, or it'll get done tomorrow. There we go. I couldn't end this vlog without showing you my bedroom. After saying I was going to clean it this afternoon. All good intentions. I'm out of breath because I've just been to the shop but it's dark and it's wet so I was rushing. So uh, I'm now going to make myself a nice cup of tea. I've not had one today. And then I'm going to piece this vlog together, get it on my YouTube. And then that's this week's vlog. So I will see you on the next vlog, which is going to be, I'm going to, I am going to vlog the photo shoot on Sunday. So the journey down to London, the photo shoot. And then if my friend's able to come to the shoot with me, she may do some behind the scenes as well, which will be a vibe. So yes, that is what's happening. So take care and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.